Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video with the Arma Mojave 4S. I'm going to be showing you guys some of the KCRC parts that arrived for the Mojave as well as another part that I still have to install but that's going to come later when I change out the motors. But for now, I found this. So this here is an older Hobbywing ESC. It's 150 amp ESC, 3 to 6S. I think it's like a WP something 150. I'll get up and look. WP 8BL 150. And it's an ESC that was in a lot of vehicles going back, let's say, three or four years ago. Losi used them. Habao used them. They were everywhere. And Habao actually still used them. And they are a great ESC. They have a low BEC. I think it maxes out at 6 volts. So it's kind of the bummer about using them today. But this ESC does let us do one thing in particular that if you watched one of the last videos I did with the truck, you know what I'm talking about. Now, what I'm referring to, guys, is this right here, this low voltage cutoff threshold non-protection. So you can see by default, it's set to value four, that's three volts per cell. You can go up to 3.4, but if you come across, you can say no protection. Now, the advantage to that is that we're gonna be able to turn off LVC, which means we're not gonna get any type of alarms or any type of triggers. So when we put in a five cell pack, the ESC isn't going to be confused. It's not, not going to go, hey, this is supposed to be a 6S or this isn't a 4S or any of that stuff. Now, it does come with some caution, and I will talk about that, guys, later in the video. So the goal of this video is that by the end of it, we should have 5S running in the truck. We're still going to be using the stock 2400 KV with no pinion changes or anything. That's going to come later. For now, I just want to show you guys and myself, actually, what 5S does in this truck. Hopefully we don't burn out the motor either. So I've kind of explained this before, but I will take the time now to kind of explain it again. ESCs are voltage. They are 100% what they are. So if an ESC says it's 4S, you do not want to go over 4S voltage. That's just how it is. Now, high voltage cells kind of come in and play. What's neat about them is, is that if you're running a truck, let's say that's 4S, but you have a larger ESC in, well then, because that ESC, let's say, is able to handle 6s like this one for example it will handle 6s so that you can drop in something like a 4s high voltage pack and have more volts and have a little bit more performance not a lot but a little in this case what we're going to be doing is running 5s so we're adding more volts to the motor now motors are based on rpms and I mean, to a point, don't get me wrong, you would never want to look at some, you know, teeny little inky dinky motor that says it does, you know, 100,000 RPMs and then dump 6S, 8S into it because, yeah, it's just going to fly apart. But a lot of motors, they're based off an RPM. And when you do the math, there's always tons and tons of room to go. They don't ever even close to max out or anything like that. So I've gotten away with this a lot. I ran my Traxxas Max 4S. I ran it on 5S. I even think at one point I even tried it on 6S a few times. I had no issues. So again, in this video, guys, we are going to get that ESC installed, swap out that Firma 150 that didn't allow me to turn off the LVC, and we should be able to run 5S, and we will head out and give it a quick blip. You're probably wondering about the tires. We'll get to that. Because I have some, I have kind of a mess going on right now on my channel. I have a few videos that I had kind of pre-recorded that I haven't released yet. So you may have seen those or you may not have. I'm not sure, but we'll again cover that later in the video. But first, what I want to do is show you the two KCRC parts that I have installed on the truck now, as well as the one that's coming. All right, so this is a 7075 tower to tower brace, guys. You can see that right there. It's not 6061 or anything cheap like that. It's good to go. I run the same brace on my Creighton 4S and it has held up awesome. So I can definitely say, guys, if you're looking at replacing the tube, it's got the spring and all that kind of stuff on it. I know that spring is supposed to kind of benefit the truck in the sense that it allows a little bit of flex. But in my experience with these trucks and with the plastic chassis, I just don't think you want it to move at all because I've seen a lot of broke chassis and stuff like that. I think in my opinion, guys, and this is just my opinion, having a solid setup here, keeping this thing from flexing at all is the way you want to go. Underneath, we have his skid plate. Again, guys, 7075. These three holes right here, so these three screw mounts right here, you do have to, I think, 
maybe this one you're good yeah this one right here guys you're good but these two holes right here you have to drill out now it's very easy i mounted i cleaned out the chassis as much as i could i mounted up here here and here drilled in through the bottom and the neat thing is and hopefully i can get you guys in close enough to see this it's going to be kind of hard but you know how you have your little hexagons underneath actually here give me a sec guys i'll do this better all right, so what I was referring to, guys, was these right here. The kit itself comes with these nuts. So when you drill in through the bottom, you pretty much land right in the center of these things. You put your nuts in, hammer them in, put your screws in, and you're good to go. I think the whole install, guys, of this brace maybe took me like 10 minutes, not even. And you can see, again, you got a nice piece of 70, 75. So that first impact, whether you're landing on a rock, you're coming down hard on the ground, it is going to hit the skid first. And just like with the tower-to-tower -tower brace, this is going to add some strength, add some rigidity, and hopefully, guys, just keep everything nice and solid so that we don't have any cracking in half chassis or anything fun like that. Now, the only other part I have, guys, from KCRC that I still haven't installed yet is the 7075 6.35 millimeter motor mount. I think that's about a quarter of an inch thick. Again, guys, 7075. The only reason this isn't installed yet is that because I know at some point I'm going to be changing out that motor, I thought I'll just do all that at once. I still haven't touched the pinion or anything like that. So what we'll do now, though, is we are going to get that Firma ESC out. We're going to get that Hobbywing one over here installed. Check everything, go over, over everything, make sure everything works. And then we are going to get this thing out for a quick rip. All right, I got everything installed. The ESC is just sitting in there right now with like a kind of a thicker Velcro. I'm not going to do anything permanent until I know if this is exactly what I want. And if the truck itself, guys, is utilizing the power, I don't know if that's the best way to explain it, but the last thing I want to do is start hacking things up, mounting things in there, and then realizing that, hey, maybe this isn't the route I want to take with this truck. But you can see we've got the MX-28s on it. Those are using the RC all-wheel drive 6x30 aluminum hexes. We now have the KCRC parts on, the ESCs installed. One thing that's nice too about this is all the bullets have been the same size. So the same size on the motor and the same size on the ESC. So I haven't had to change any of those over. So again, until I know 100% this is what I want, we're just going to kind of use and kind of blend everything together as good as we can. But it's getting yucky out there. I just looked outside and it started to friggin' snow. So we're going to go out. We're going to try to give it a run, guys. But we'll... Uh, We'll probably have to do this at a later date to really get a good feel for it. All right, guys, not ideal conditions. From the time that I left my house, which is about two minutes that way, we now have this. But I wanted to come out and just see how this is going to do, see what 5S is like. Obviously, we're going to get a lot of spinning and stuff. And sliding as well. Yeah, guys, unfortunately, this is a bust. They don't plow this anymore because this school closed this year. You can definitely feel though that it's got a lot more power now. It's just struggling for any kind of traction today. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna turn up the ABC a little bit the gyro a little bit on the radio link oh yeah it's so mucky out here now guys but that was pinned with a little bit of the gyro engaged you can see how much better it handled even in this weather <laughs> yeah, it's funny. There's blue sky right there <coughs> And yet we're stuck in the snow
It's a doggy. Where did she go? There she is. She's over there. The gyro though, guys, is sure working, keeping this thing straight. You can definitely tell that. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna back this thing up because it's just miserable out here. And we'll try to get out another time when hopefully either the weather's better, snow's melted, things are a little drier. I'm gonna wet add guys one thing right now before I get this truck home is that right now it absolutely weighs a ton and that is because we've got a lot of wet snow everywhere which is adding a ton of weight and definitely affecting the performance I could kind of notice it even after about the first 30 seconds of running the truck that it just it I could feel like the four I could feel the weight I could feel that it was kind of just holding back so either way again I'll see you guys back on the bench all right, so that was sort of a bust, guys, between the snow, the wet snow, the weight of the truck after all the snow. I don't know how many times I'm going to say snow, but yeah, that was a bit of a bummer. The one thing with the Mojave for us is that having the cage and all that stuff, even up in here, like behind the body, it was really packed with snow, like to the point that even when I got home and kind of let it sit in the sink for a bit, it was just tons and tons of snow. By the way, when I say sink, I'm referring to the one in the laundry room, my messy one. It was just packed and you could kind of tell if you actually go back and watch, you'll see the first, let's say 25 seconds or so, the truck sounds healthy, very zippy. The motor sounds very healthy. And then later on, you can kind of tell it's almost straining. You can tell that it's kind of loaded down. And again, that's all that snow adding all that weight, plus running it on 5S. I'll have to wait guys again. It's the one thing with this time of year, I'll have to wait till I can actually get out and run this thing get traction, not have all the snow, and really see how it performs. I did notice, and it's kind of an important thing, you guys saw the snow, so you can clearly see it's cold. Now, it wasn't super cold, guys. I think it was like zero or something like that, but the motor was warm. And for the motor to be warm running in those kind of conditions for not that long, and that's even with snow around the motor, yeah, my guess is that this, the stock forest motor might not be of the highest quality because I have done this with other forest motors and not had a problem. This one, on the other hand, guys, I don't think is going to be happy with 5S. So what you may see in the next few weeks is changing the motor out to a 6S motor, gearing it up a little bit, probably thickening up the center diff. We'll see. I'm kind of, I've got an issue guys with this truck right now. And that is the fact that this truck performs amazing out of the box. And I've said that so many times. 4S, stock suspension setup, all that kind of fun stuff, stock tires. It does a very, very good job. And it's a lot of fun to drive. If I start getting into everything on this truck, diffs, shocks, all that kind of stuff, to make it better at, let's say, jumping and handling being power, I may lose all that other fun and all the that out of the box fun that I had with this truck. So I don't 100% know what I'm going to do. Obviously, I can change everything back. I understand that. But I am I'm, I'm kind of debating now on how to go with this. I've got a lot of cars that are set up to do big jumps and set up for big power and all that kind of stuff. And as I've mentioned, the Mojave Forest out of the box is one of the best out of the box experiences you can get with an RC. It does everything so well. And Besides from just wanting that little bit more power, you're you're good to go with it. Now, I don't know what the diff fluid is in the Mojave 4S, guys. When I had it out, I kind of felt it a little bit. I didn't open it up or anything like that. I probably should have. So I don't even know what's in it. It could even have 50 thou or 100 thou. I don't think so. It doesn't feel like it, but you never know. Big thanks to KCRC for sending out those parts. Great upgrade for the Mojave 4S. I run the tower-to-tower -to -tower brace and the skid plate on my Creighton 4S. 
that truck's had zero issues chassis still solid and that's the older plastic chassis so unlike the mojave chassis which actually does have some improvements obviously guys adding those braces in the skid are definitely going to help like i mentioned stay tuned because we will be using the motor mount right there when we install the 6s motor in this and again guys i'm going to mention this we are not going to be running 6s in this truck i am trying to get 5s running and also possibly guys even stick to 4s but running a stronger motor being able to gear it up a little bit i don't even know how high of opinion we can get in this thing so that's all stuff that we're going to be doing in the next little bit but guys as always if you like this video give me a big thumbs up please subscribe and check out the description because there'll be links to the tower to tower brace the skid plate and the rc all-wheel drive 17 millimeter hexes which is allowing me to run those badlands on the mojave Anyways, guys, take care.